everyone, welcome back to the Teens with Experience channel. My name is Brianne Nguyen. I'm the newest member of the YouTube team and I'm also Miss Teen New Hampshire, US of America. This is my first video with you guys. I am so excited. I made my bed for you guys. It is week 50 of quarantine here in the US and this is the first time I've made my bed. Yay! But anyways, today, well, that was a loud clap. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about something that I'm very familiar with, something that I am very passionate about, and something that I've dealt with my entire life, which is beauty and how to find yourself beautiful. Now, beauty and finding beauty within yourself is something that I've been struggling with my entire life. I'm still going through that process, but I hope that I can give you guys some methods in order for you to start a healthy journey towards loving yourself and finding beauty within yourself as well. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of my backstory later, but I have always been insecure, never feeling worthy, never feeling like I'm beautiful or good enough. But there are four positive mantras that I always keep in the back of my head to remind myself that I am beautiful and that I am loved. And I will be teaching you guys those four mantras and defining beauty within yourself and within your natural state. Now, before we get started with the video, if you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Share this with all of your friends. It would be a great help to our organization. And follow us on all of our social media platforms. We will be linking those down in the description box below. And make sure to visit our website to find more content, more links, and to find out how you can contribute to Teens with Experience. Now, you might be wondering, how am I going to teach you about finding beauty within your natural self when I am wearing full hair, makeup, crown, sash, and a dress on? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to go into more of a natural state then. Give me a moment. Hello, guys. We are now back in a more natural state. I'm wearing a robe. I have no makeup on. My hair is a messy bun. And my sash is right there. I just felt like it would be a little hypocritical of me to talk about feeling your beauty, feeling yourself in your natural skin when I was wearing full hair and makeup. So we're here. Now to give a little bit of backstory on myself, I'm a trans woman, I'm plus sized, I'm a woman of color. Lots of things that don't necessarily fit into the small box that society labels as beauty. I was constantly bullied for it my entire life. There was never a moment where I was like, oh, I'm beautiful in my own skin, I feel loved, I feel beautiful. Like there was never that moment. I always felt like it's ugly, worthless, a piece of and it just wasn't something that was healthy for me to constantly think of. Now, when I joined pageantry, like as you saw with those sashes back there, it was a little bit harder because now I was surrounded by all these tall, thin, cis, very beautiful model-esque girls. But what made me turn around and think, I am beautiful, was when in a beauty pageant, we all stood next to each other in a line. We were all competing in interview, in evening gown, in every other round of competition. I was third place. Amongst all of these beautiful, thin, gorgeous girls, I was third place. And now I thought to myself, but I'm not physically that beautiful, at least in society's eyes. How did I beat all these other girls? I then realized that beauty is not made of just your outer appearance. Really, it's the least important part about your beauty. My actions, my feelings, my intent, my heart, that inner beauty translated towards the outside and people could see that. People saw my inner beauty, it translated outwards, and that's how I got such a good result. I realized that when I was competing against these girls, I was doing the exact same things as them. I got the same amount of opportunities. I was placing well. I was doing the photo shoots, the runways. I had a really good social media platform. And I was like, but I'm not physically attractive. So how could I get all these things? That was when I truly realized that my inner beauty, what was in my heart mattered so much more than what I looked like on the outside. And that's the first thing I want you to remember is that no matter how you look on the outside, it's what you do, it's what you say, it's how you feel and it's what's in your heart. That's what matters the most and that's what's gonna show through the most. Yes, people will naturally gravitate towards a physically more beautiful person, but what makes people stick to you, it's your heart, it's your mind, it's your sense of self. That's what keeps people around and that's what people are sticking around for is that inner beauty that really translates towards the outside and people can really, really see that. I know that there are a lot of people in this world that are insecure, boys, girls, non-binaries, everyone is insecure within themselves in some sort of way, even I do. Some days I look in the mirror and I'm like, she's so ugly, she's so fat, 
she's never gonna get anywhere in this world. But there are three more things I want you to keep in the back of your mind every time you look at yourself in the mirror. And even if those thoughts don't make you feel like mass and beer or like you're the hottest thing out there, it's still a healthy thing to keep those thoughts in your head for the long term. Beauty is highly subjective. Beauty standards are constantly changing. There is never a time where one person is the most beautiful for more than maybe five years. Back in the 60s, it was very thin bodies, no curves, thick, thin, almost boyish. That was the beauty standard back then. Back to the 80s, more voluptuous bodies, tanner girls, long, wavy, fuller hair. That was what became the standard. Then we went to the 2000s. We are now back to the thin model-esque girl, the blonder hair, the young look. Skip to the Kim K era of 2015 extremely slim thick bodies very mixed looking very racially ambiguous that was the look and it doesn't even translate to just time periods it translates to all around the world in asia it's more beautiful to have bigger eyes white pale skin in the americas it's more acceptable to have darker tanner skin everywhere you look even if you think that the whole world thinks that one thing is beautiful it truly is not everywhere beauty is different and if you take up your whole entire life trying to chase after that standard of beauty that you're looking at, you're never gonna feel satisfied because either one, you will never get there or two, even if you do get there, that trend will change again and you will just be constantly chasing that standard of beauty when you could have just been feeling yourself and for your own beauty. Life is extremely short. We all end up in the same place, hopefully. People will remember you for what you did, for what you made them feel, for the impact you made on this world rather than what you looked like. Be the representation you want to see in the world. The world has a pretty huge issue with displaying all types of beauty from around the world. And what motivates me to feel beauty within myself is that knowing that I am taking space in, for say example, the modeling and pageantry industry, I am taking up space in that where I'm not really represented well. When I break the mold, when I shatter the glass ceiling in that industry, I am making room for more girls that look like me. That is a huge, huge motivation for me to stay confident, to stay myself, and to stay motivated to do well. It helps me stay my truest self because I know that by me being my truest self, I am helping other people out here in this world feel like their truest self. When you think in your head, I am doing this for not only me, but for all the other girls, boys, days out there that look like me it truly gives you a nice kick it gives you a good boost in your spirit and you feel a lot more love for yourself and that is the end of the video you guys thank you guys so much for staying until the end i really hope you took something out of this today and i really hope you remember that you are beautiful you're loved and you're worth so much and you're gonna do so much good in this world make sure if you like today's video to like comment and subscribe down below click the notifications button share this with all of your friends and also follow us on every single major social media platform. We're going to be linking those down in the description down below. And also visit our website to find more content, to find more links, and to find out how you can contribute to Teens with Experience. It's been so great speaking to all of you today, and I will see you all next time. Bye!